वेलकाम टू दरंग कलेज इ लार्णिंग प्लेटफर्म माइ सेल्फ अल्पना बरवा एसिस्टेन्ट प्रफेसर डिपार्टमेंट अफ कमार्स ओके टूडे स्टूडेंट उर गोयिंग टू डिस्कास स्पेसिफिक टपिक फ्रम योर पेपर अफ बिकम फिफ्थ सेमिस्टार प्रिन्सिपल अफ मार्केटिंग आंडार दिस पार्टिकार पेपर उ हेव ए यूनिट कल कन्ज्यूमार बिहेवियर सो टूडे उ आर गोयिंग टू डिस्कास एबाउट दि कन्ज्यूमार बिहेवियर फ्रम दिस पार्टिकार यूनिट लेट स्टार्ट बिफोर गोयिंग टू डिस्कास एबाउट दि कन्ज्यूमार बिहेवियर उ शुड आंडारस्टेण्ड हु इज ए कन्ज्यूमार और हु शुड वि कन्सिडार एज ए कन्ज्यूमार सो एकर्डिंग टू दा भेरियास कैंड अफ डेफिनेशन प्रभाइड बै दि भेरियास टाइप अफ स्कलार्स और द रिसार्च रिसार्चर और द एक्सपार्ट उ कैन से द कन्ज्यूमार इज एन इंडिविजुअल हु पार्सेस गुड्स एंड सार्विसेस फ्रम द मार्केट फर हिज और हार यूज ओके और इन द आदर वर्ड्स और इन भेरी सीम्पल वर्ड्स उ कैन से देट ए कन्ज्यूमार इज ए कन्ज्यूमार इज ए the person or individual who consume the goods and services available in the market beside of this we also can say that the consumer are the end user of any kind of product or the services okay the consumer only have a particular kind of mo- motive the consumption they are not the reseller of any kind of product or services they should have to consume that service or product what they have so here i am putting a picture where a little boy have some kind of food item from kfc okay here you can see that the boy having that particular food item so the particular example of the boy or that particular food item reflected that he is a consuming a kind of food item from the kfc maybe his parents or maybe someone else bought this for him so here we can say that the boy the little boy is the end user of this food item so we can consider him as a consumer because he is the end user of this particular food item but someone else maybe his parents or maybe elder one or someone else can purchase this but they are not using this kind of product or they are not having this food item or food meal at that particular time so they are not consumer the boy having this he is the end user so he is consider as a consumer hope all of you understand consumer means who a particular person or group of person or maybe a individual who can purchase a goods or services from the market but they should be the end user of the particular product or they are not going to resell that kind of product are consider as a consumer okay now going for the next second important word that is the behavior what is behavior the way through which an individual or group of individual react behave or respond to a particular situation or stimulations are considered as a behavior the behavior is on not only seen to the human brain we can notice we can see that is in all types of living brain so so behavior is nothing but how we are react regarding to something that something may be a product also that something may be a goods also that something may be a situation also or that something may be a kind of uh, condition through which a particular individual may be going through so means how the individual react or maybe group of individual react their response are considered as a behavior so here i am putting three different kind of pictures of three different ladies one where a particular lady uh, notice or showing something in a supermarket maybe it is the condition she is going to be thought or maybe thinking what should be going to buy or not to buy so this her behavior regarding a particular product available in front of in front of her in the market on the second pictures there is a lady 
having two types of food product in her hand and going to be compare each others so it is a kind of comparing behavior at that particular situation means which is good for her or which is uh, reasonable for her or which have what types of features or quantity in the particular kind of product so she are she behaving that particular nature or the particular character at that moment to regarding two different kind of product in the shopping mall on the third picture we can notice a girl holding a t-shirt in her hand and showing the smiling face so maybe she thought at that time this is the dress i want or maybe she got this date at a discount price or maybe uh, she that is the dress which is searching for a long time by herself so she reflecting or she going to behave happily or the satisfied at that moment so her reaction regarding that particular kind of t-shirt that particular reaction of the lady regarding the food item the particular lady reaction at the thinking at uh, showing the particular products are available in the food shelf or maybe the marketplace or maybe the super mall a uh, consider our behavior of trip different people at different situation and time so before going to understand the consumer behavior we should learn who is a consumer and what actually behavior so overall we can now say that consumer behavior is nothing but is a kind of situation kind of reaction or kind of a response of a individual or maybe a group of individual regarding a kind of product or maybe services which is desired by they themselves desire uh, demand by themselves or they may be going to fulfill that desire or demand by themselves okay now let's go for the consumer behavior definitions the various scholars writers experts authors are given different kind of definition on consumer behavior so uh, in the simple word all the behavior of human being during the process may be termed as a buyer or consumer behavior so in simple word we can understand the consumer behavior means how human being going to be react or behave or respond during the process of purchase that is consumer behavior so here i am putting two a uh, definition of two different expert from the uh, professor philip kotler who is also known as a father of marketing management define consumer behavior as the study of how individuals groups and organization select comma buy comma use and dispose of goods and services comma ideas or experience to satisfy their needs and want so means the philip kotler itself define the procedure to study of an individual or group or maybe organization how that particular group or the individual or maybe the organization select use buy a particular kind of service or goods and after buying selecting using or disposing that goods or services what the idea or, or experience they can generate it regarding their satisfaction of the particular need and wants we consider as a consumer behavior okay in the other words uh, jf angel also give a definition consumer behavior can be defined as the activity and the actions of people and organization that purchases and use economic goods and services including their influence on these activities and actions in the both definition we can notice that it both definition reflect about the, the activities actions of group of peoples or maybe the individuals or maybe the organization regarding the process of purchasing regarding the process of economical exchange of goods and services and how they are going to influences to have that means it identify the needs and demand of the regarding particular goods and services so in short in the simple word we can understand consumer behavior is nothing but it is the behavior of every people during the process of buy particular kind of things and they should be the 
user of that particular things they should have the experience regarding that particular things it may be product it may be services they also may have the idea or they also may have the need or desire or ask for the particular product or services okay here the definitions and the a particular concept of consumer behavior for the better understanding of consumer behavior we can go for a particular model of consumer behavior here the seven of framework define very correctly actually what is the consumer behavior and the six o approach of consumer behavior if you go for the framework of seven o's it refers who is the consumer means uh, who is the consumer you or me or someone else so occupant means who needs who have the wants or who want to be used they should be occupier at that situation at that moment to uses at that moment so they are consumer next what does the consumer buy so why you go to buy some kind of product or avail some kind of services so that is refers the objective of purchase behind the every kind of purchase there should be a motive should be a object the particular individual or maybe the group of individual or maybe the organization that net next o is represented why is the consumer why is the consumer why he is considered as a consumer means objective there is a difference between the objective of purchase or the objective objective of purchase may be you can go to buy a new dress that is your objective new dress new dress is objective but why you purchase that dress, a particular new dress the new dress need may be for your for kind of maybe a functions maybe a for kind of occasion maybe a for kind of festival so that is the objective of person but you needed a new dress that is the objective of you going to purchase okay next when do they buy or how often they buy and use that is mean how often a particular kind of product may be go to buy by a particular individual or how often a particular things are going to be used or service may be going to avail by a individual or group of individuals that is occasion how often say example if you are a student you need a pen essentially the entire process of your study okay so here the purchasing or buy of a particular pen for a student is very often okay but same example if you going for take your parents if they are not working in a particular kind of administrative job or any kind of official work the purchasing or buying of a particular kind of pen is very occasion not a regular process it may be uh, maybe once in a month or maybe uh, in a how year maybe they purchase that types of pen one or two times in a year so the occasion why that particular product you may go to purchase or may be going to avail particular kind of services next where do they buy means from where you are going to buy okay you need a pen as a student from where you go for the nearest shop of your in front of your college near your uh, home or you go for online purchases so which is more comfortable for the consumer they always selected the place to buy means from where you having the product or services next how do they buy operation means how operations represented how do they how how they buy it may be go for the credit it may it may be go for the cash it may be go for through the buy self or maybe the through others so how do they buy operations how that behavior should taken place means that your behavior as a consumer should going to taken place who is involved who involved in the process of buying behavior or in the process of as a consumer your behavior it may be involved by yourself if you are going to buy directly or use it is by yourself that is means you are the customer and consumer at the same time but if another going to be buy that or bought for on behalf of you and later on you are going to be use it then it is consider the organization it also consider the from where the marketplace itself the person who are involved in the process here okay on the other hand it is very easy to understand the consumer behavior what to buy why to buy 
who is going to be buy how to buy when to buy where to buy this is six o concept refers what to buy ki kini ba uh, what you want to be buy why uh, why uh, is to be buy why you are going to be buy that particular product or bought that particular product who who means yourself or others okay how the way you going to miss operation how you going to be taken place when it is maybe a periodically or it may be a very often it may be frequently or it may be a on the special occasion where it may be a particular organization outlay from a particular kind of place or maybe from a particular kind of network so where so these seven o frameworks or six o approach of consumer behavior reflect some question what why who how when and where these are uh, basically represented the entire pictures of a consumer behavior okay hope all of you understand uh, the consumer behavior later on we are going to discuss the factors who basically lead a particular individual to buy or to react regarding the particular kind of product or services that is basically considered as a factor influencing consumer behavior okay here i am putting two pictures uh, in a two pictures in the this picture you have uh, have a particular kind of a uh, factor that is the personal factor which is not mentioned in the first pictures but if you go for the both pictures you can find that the fact consumer behavior basically draw or influenced by some particular kind of element or particular kind of factors which can be classified as a social factors cultural factors economical factors personal factors and psychological factors here psychological factors social factors cultural factors and personal factors the economical factors is not mentioned here so basically these four factors are basically regarding to the consumer behavior certain cases the economical factors all uh, consider more important con uh, compared to the others factors but for different kind of consumer is going to differently so let's start it with the social factors the social factors uh the surrounding of every individuals is considered as a social factors which basically represented the reference group family role and status so reference group it basically refers our friend circles our neighbors our colleagues our um kind of relatives are the part of our reference group okay then the family the where we are born and brought up okay that is uh, the environment under which we are going to be growing up that is the role and status what is the position of a particular individual or maybe a particular group of individuals what the particular kind of activities or the status they are lead also a influencing factors for a individual to decide or to draw their behavior as a consumer say example reference group uh, reference group reflected to your uh, neighbors your friend circles your relatives or the particular kind of specific influencer groups so if you going to have that kind of friend circle where everyone have a laptop okay that laptop belong to a particular kind of company say example samsung or maybe the uh, that costly uh, costly range of company so when you go to buy a laptop if your comparative friend circle then you always going to be prefer a branded product like your friend circle because it is influenced draw by yourself that my friends have these types of laptop this laptop have that kind of facilities or features which is useful for my work so that is the influencing factor for you to bought the particular kind of laptop by yourself the second is the family this is the most influencing factor in case of indian consumer because in india we have two kind of family pattern uh, earlier we have a joint family pattern but now we have a after 90s we basically uh, uh, have a common family uh, 
nature in India that is the nuclear family pattern so in the nuclear family pattern the uh, in a family having more than not more than four or five percent but in joint kind of family which is the cultural pattern of in india also the traditional pattern in india also where more than 20 25 people also in the same family so your family members your parents your symbolic your uh, the others relative also draw a behavior on you to decided to buy a particular thing say example if you belong to a joint family their monthly requirement of grocery compared to the you are belong to a nuclear family are different if you needed to the 20 kilo rice in a month for a joint family but in a nuclear family you maybe needed the 5 kilo of rice for every month so the quantity of rice it is represented your behavior also if you are going to buy that the de demand or the need of your family you go to bought the particular kind of rice or you having that particular kind of food gain or food item so your family next your role and status what is the position of your in the society in your family if you are the earning person you are the uh, homemaker you the you lead your family you have proper particular kind of social status in your particular area or maybe the village so your consumption pattern is totally different compared to the others one so the role what role you pay you are if pay the play the role of a father or mother or any person in the family your consumption pattern is totally different the dependent on your family member who are depend on your particular role okay this is the social factor the second influencing factor is the cultural factor culture is basically refers kinds of belief some kinds of ethics some kind of moral some kind of flow of the uh, basic uh, things generation to generation that are overall commonly we can understand as a culture that culture can be classified as classify as a culture subculture and socio culture so culture itself decided the behavior pattern of a individual say example in which family or which culture you are going to be a born according to that you have some kind of behavior on you say example if you are born and brought up in a family which is more religious in the natures so as a consumer in that particular religious activities we are going to bought various types of things which are related to the religious activities or purposes okay then subculture refers the cultural group also has subdivisions on the basis of their uses on the basis of their needs of the situation then socio-cultural the socio-cultural environment is refers to the the particular society surrounded by us on that base of our behavior also be drawn okay next is the economical factor the economical factors is the most essential factors nowadays to draw a behavior of a consumer the economical factors basically refers to the economical terms or the purchasing power of an individual or maybe the group of individuals further it can be classified classify as a disposable income size of family consumption and saving credit availability and additional income under the social uh, economical factors the it can classify as a disposable income the disposable income basically refers if a particular individual have a scope for the extra source of earning or income or the possibility of future growth or prosperity of in case of earning or income then your pattern of consumptions are automatically going to be changes say example you have the scope or hope promotion in the next year or in the next month and the promotion bringing to the increasing salary in your present salary automatically increasing the money power by promotion of the particular individuals 
give him to the more freedom to have the new or maybe the more item which is desired or needed by him from the long term so disposable income means he has a extra source of earning see example during the time of durga puja various companies given to the bonus their employees or during the time of diwali so if you go take the example most of the indian family having buying some kind of the luxurious things like the cars some of the fashionable goods like the jewelries or maybe the uh, 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 home appliances during that particular period why the purchasing of that types of product are increasing during that particular period it reflect the source of disposable income the bonus is not a regular pattern of income like salary or other things so it is come during the time of specific occasions and they have the source of extra income that time so it giving them giving them to the purchasing more power more purchasing power in their hands so they go for that kind of purchase at that time second one is the size of the family i already discussed in the social factor uh, in case of family the depend on the size of a family the con consumer behavior also draw if you belong to a small size of family like nuclear family your needs is totally different a family which is size size is the large like the joint family if you take the example of quantities of the all types of packages for say example the horlicks in market we have the horlicks of packages for rupees 5 that is 10 gram then we have the 250 grams also we have the half kg also we have the 1 kilo bottle also or packet also so if you go to the take the example of horlicks as a health drink the need of the the package that pouch 5 rupees is different for according to the family size who going to bought the 1 kilo bottle in a month so that is size of the family if you having one single child only he using that health drink so you may be go for 250 grams or half and half kg in a month but you have a more than two or three child in a family the health drink is needed for the all the child so maybe you go for the 1 kg in a month so that is size of family reflected how much product you are going to be purchase or service you are going to be avail consumption and saving means how much you have the purchasing power based on purchasing power how much a uh, need or desire you are going to be fulfill after fulfilling that need and desire how much things you are go for saving in the future that saving may be in the nature of the product or service itself or maybe itself the asset or in maybe the another form so if you having the high habit of saving then your consumption pattern or that uh, expenditures pattern automatically may be go down because your most proportion are go for the saving in the various nature of asset or maybe the various types of investment but if your saving pattern is less then you are going to be invest or expenditure make more expenditures in your fulfilling your demand or desire or needs okay so the saving of a individual or group of individual are totally reflected in their behavior also next is the credit availability if you go for the indian society before 90s or when the banking sector is not developed not uh, we having so much of the private sector bank in the society or credit providing societies or financial sources in society if you go take the example of that period or take the example of the present situation the credit availability source is increasing as increasing the financial institution it may be public sector it may be private sectors the credit availability reflect refers about the availability of credit card 0% loan Uh, the reduce emi procedure a uh, various types of credit are available nowadays the credit also the credit availability also increasing the purchasing power in the individuals or group of individuals through which we can fulfill our needs and demand there is a times during the period of 90s having the color televisions or refrigerator or washing machines is not the common thing for all types of middle class family it is very rarely found in the middle class family in india but after making the availability of credit by various types of that appliances manufacturing company to the financial uh, uh, institution 
it become the common thing in the middle class family to having a washing machine the led tvs the particular kind of refrigerator how it's possible because the credit is if you go to buy a particular kind of refrigerator it more than 25 to 30000 it is not possible buy a regular earning persons with a little amount of salary but through credit you can pay the amount in installment basis within one or two years so you have going to fulfill your needs and demire, demand sorry through the particular credit so the credit availability also increasing the consumption pattern nowadays the purchasing of bmw becoming the easy things for a middle class or upper middle class family because the bmw also be available and credit and which can be going to be paid within a particular period of time so that is the example what is the power of credit to draw the behavior of consumers next is the additional income the disposable income is reflected the income which is left after making all the expenditures and additional income there is a little bit of defined this to disposable and additional income the uh, if you go to meet all the expenditures then some amount is left you're going to fulfill your needs at the same time if you have the source of extra income at the situations that also consider as a part of additional income that additional income means uh, you have regular kind of salary or regular kind of earning from your professional but in certain cases or certain situation maybe the earning person in a family more than two okay or maybe the there is a source the father is already earning the son and daughter got the job and there is a uh, income person are increasing in the family or maybe he will have going to be promoted so the different kind of situation may be bringing the additional income source for a particular person and that additional income give you the purchasing power in your hand so if you have the extra income at your hand so you should go for fulfill your dreams that dreams in the nature may be the expenditures to having some kind of things if you source of additional income if you go for i earlier thinking to buy a four wheeler within the amount of 10 lakhs but if you suddenly get a source of additional income you maybe go for to shifted your demand from 10 lakhs to the maybe 20 or 25 lakhs of a car or the another thing so that is additional income also draw the behavior of a consumer next is the personal factors the personal factors have the parameters like the age life cycle occupations and lifestyle personality and self concept okay that means what age group a particular individual going to be belong okay the the position of that individual at that life cycle the occupation what types of the occupation we have okay and the, what is the life cycle of that occupation when you say about the occupation it's maybe refers as a students as a homemaker as a professional as a maybe a service person so occupation may be defined to different then personality of self-concept personality every individual have their own kind of personality and that personality also bringing their self-concept regarding their need and demands so personal factors refers uh, means totally individuality of a individual one so how i am reflect myself regarding particular need a particular situation as a consumer my behavior also be bringing that things so age and life cycle so say example the need of a five year child or need of a 15 years uh, teenager or need of a 25 years younger is totally different five years boy may be happy with a particular kind of packet of chips okay so for his behavior as a consumer to having that kind of chips or chocolate at the time he may be go for the school or maybe outing or maybe someone come with his home so he satisfied with the particular need of that things but the 25 year, uh, 25 years young young uh, the young person or 15 ages the teenagers are need and demand may be different so the your age or life cycle under which process you are now going so that also reflected in your behavior as a consumer 
the occupation and lifestyle so if your occupation is a students your need is totally different from a person who are in the service he may be the person who is the only earner in the home he should going to fulfill the demand of everyone but as a student your demand or your needs is maybe the study materials some kind of amount for your pocket money to having some kind of fast food or uh, some kind of make um, expenditures make with your friend that is your need so your occupation itself bringing your behavior as a consumer at that situation the lifestyle if you having in a hostels or a boy stay in a hostel or a boy stay at home the the both are the students but their lifestyle is totally different the need of the hostel boy is totally different who are stay in the home say example if you stay in a hostel having a hot water bottle or kettle is essential for you as you stay in a hostel but maybe having a hot water kettle is not essential for a boy who is stay at home okay so if you go for your occupation and lifestyle both are essential factors to draw your behavior last one is the personality and self concept self concept means how you are going to be learn how your attitude are going to be uh, draw what is types of behavior you having or what is types of skill or knowledge or what types of uh, things you are learning from your surrounding from your fa family all together coming into uh, coming into your behavior pattern which draw your personality and the personality itself bringing the consumer behavior so say example some of person like to pay every time the formal dresses which reflected their personality and some of people always go for the casual dresses not branded dresses so they may be behavior are reflected through their personalities so uh, say example if you go for a particular kind of party we always prefer the dresses which belong to that particular party or theme okay but if you go for a formal places like school colleges offices we are prefer like that kind of dresses so the personality of the self concept of individuals are uh, basically draw our behavior as a consumer and last one is the psychological factors the psychological factors basically refers about the inner things of individuals it's basically uh, bringing the element like motivations perception learning and attitude motivations means what things or why you are go for some product or maybe a service the motive what are the drive you can consider driver derivatives or drivers to uh, the individual towards the particular thing perception how you are going to be reflect or react or going to stimulate a some particular situation or maybe a particular kind of product or maybe a services learning how much you are know your know how how much you have the particular kind of knowledge how much you have the particular kind of the uh, uh, informations regarding a particular product or maybe services then attitude why the things is essential for me how you are going to react with the particular things these are the consider the psychological factors who basically grow with the consumer behavior or draw the consumer behavior if you go for a bicycle or maybe a motorbike what is the motive you having the bicycle or motorbike okay the motive is it is a meet the com as a way of transportation or meet the meet um, reflect as a way of communication or it going for a way of transportation from one place to another place but your perception is reflected why you go for motorbike not the bicycle why you go for the bicycle not the motorbike if you are so much concerned toward the uh, society toward the regarding the uh, uh, environment the the pollution of the uh, pattern your health consciousness your the availability of sources of money or the the sources of earning then you may go compare to the both bicycle and the motorbike that is you consider as your perception regarding the bicycle and motorbike so you have regular pattern of income you can 
being the expenditures of the petrol or maybe the diesel and you can have a particular social status among your friend or maybe your colleagues at the workplaces so you can may go for the motorbike okay then the concept is coming what kind of motorbike or the motorcycle you are going to be considered okay that is the information you have that is the knowledge you have maybe the knowledge regarding the price the mileage the the particular kind of engines the fuel requirement uh, the fuel requirement to run the particular motorcycle or motorbike so that is your learning how much experience you get gather from the various sources available around you the attitude how we are going to be behave to having this kind of product so the psychological means a kind of inner things it also consider with the personality or self concept also so overall the social factor cultural factor economical factor personal factor and psychological factor these are five most important element under which we have the defined kind of the sub element who draw our behavior as a consumer whenever you go for any kind of product or things you may be thought that we only having the product but behind the scenario if you go for this picture you can clearly understand there is a lot of things are working okay i am going to buy this new sari why i am going to buy this new sari okay this is the durga puja is coming okay durga puja is coming so occasion is have so i need this particular sari okay motive is also find out but from where i go to buy that particular sari online or offline how much the amount this amount is available offline this amount is available in the online okay so comparison of the prices okay why i am going for for the sari not the mekhla sadar okay that if you go to the consider the example of this best particular sari as i am a lady teacher so i am uh, giving my ex own example so these are the factors may be grow uh, grow or going to be work behind the behind the behind my mind to before buy a particular kind of sari or mekhla sadar or any kind of product why i am going it to buy how much money is involved okay if this is my monthly salary if i am going to invest this much or expend expend this much of amount for this particular sari how much amount is left is going to be me my, my monthly need or not okay my monthly expenditure or not so these types of question going to behind my mind okay by after going to analysis all that things my behavior is come out okay i'm going to take this or not to take the particular sari so that means the behavior also draw by the various factors okay we are reacting that is our behavior we are responding okay that is our behavior but that behavior is coming from this kind of factors mainly which can be classified as a social factors that is may be cultural factors they may be psychological that may be personality that may be economical so maybe any one factor behind of the scenario if you go to buy anything for at, at any situation it may be product or may be service okay here i'm going to concluding today uh, chapters that is the consumer behavior hope all of you understand if you have any kind of query then you can contact me into the my mail id alpana bora1 at the rate of gmail.com so we are ending our class today here thank you for watching